welcome back to my channel. Today is a very special class, or different rather. As you know, I am preggers, and there's lots of things I can't do anymore, but I miss teaching those like abs and you know, those core exercises. So my friend, um, she's basically, I've known her for like, I don't know, 15 <laughs> years or 20 years. We went to the same dance school. She's friends with my little sister, so she's a little younger. So she's in London and she's staying at mine, and I was like, oh my God, like, <laughs> can you be my body, please? I want to do a class like the idea literally came to my mind yesterday and I was like oh my god this would work so she agreed because she also does my classes and she's like it's hard I'm like you'll be fine you'll be fine you used to be a dancer you're young um, so yeah so grab your mat and we're doing a core class it's been so long I'm jealous because I'm like yes I want to do abs but it's fine it's fine I'll teach it so grab your mat have your sip of water and we are going for a core class for all levels so let's go come into your four point kneeling so her name is Alison she's French like me Viet from Vietnam but French okay so um, Alison uh, okay perfect four point kneeling and when we're ready let's go inhale into your cat really pull that belly button in stretch the back of your neck everybody big exhale out nice shoulders away from the ears and again inhale in exhale nice take your time you can slow it down a little bit inhale in really smooth yes exhale nice really big and again inhale in exhale out last one inhale let's hold the cat a little bit longer let's really feel that stretch at the back of the neck and really feel the chin coming into the chest exhale out and again let's hold it really exaggerate that arch from here toes into the mat we're going to push back into our first downward dog and really stretch it out here so take a few seconds here to find the integrity of your downward dog pushing your belly back towards your thighs and remember in a downward dog your shoulders are pushed away from the ears you're not moving your hands but you feel like someone's pulling you up towards the ceiling nice nice and then you're really feeling that stretch in the back inhaling and exhaling from here we're gonna stay here let's do heels up and then exhale heels down nice really slow heels up so don't worry if your heels are not touching Alison heels are not touching and that's totally fine she's still going up and coming as low as she can no problem at all this is a great exercise to stretch Achilles so keep going inhaling and exhaling nice really really nice couple more and remember when we do this we're shifting the body weight up not forward so don't come towards your hands nice and from here bend one knee at a time nice take a few more seconds to really show these legs some loves stretch the back of these legs have a moment for yourself start feeling your body waking up gently inhaling and exhaling from here heels back up we're gonna roll and come into a plank inhale exhale hold roll back so the spinal waves and then push back yes nice so give me a wave yes beautiful really try to articulate that spine arch nice slowly slowly here you go 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 vas-y pouce yes nice sorry if I start speaking a little French because I'm French and sometimes like easier <laughs> boom nice and really push these with the bum arch arch yes nice arch arch boom couple more nice slow it down hold the last plank come into a plank let's hold the plank here nice and strong plank let's inhale and exhale we're gonna hold it for ten five nice hips a little bit higher yes nice drop the knees down on the mat we're going to push back into our child pose and have a little moment here when you're in child pose open your knees allow your spine to drop right super gentle you have that sensation right that someone is stretching you so really lengthen that lower back and keep breathing inhaling and exhaling 
exhaling, stretching, reaching your fingers as far forward as you can. Even though sometimes you can be in a child pose, like especially in yoga, it's like more of like a resting moment. But in right now, with this small part of the stretch, so we really want to keep stretching and lengthening those muscles. Stay here a few seconds. Nice, coming back into your four point kneeling. Slowly, toes into the mat. We're gonna push back into the downward dog. And very slowly, you're gonna walk your feet to the hands and maybe come towards the front of the mat. And we're gonna stay here. Just bend one knee at a time. Nice, nice and slow, perfect. Feeling the stretch nice. I like how you're adding those arm stretch to really lengthen everything. And from here, let's roll up into a standing position very slowly. Articulate one vertebra at a time. Nice. Come all the way up. Open the shoulders. Bah. Yes. Oh, I love the drama. And then back down, chin into your chest. Roll down. Nice and slow. And we back up again. Nice and slow. Shoulders back. Shoom. And we down. Rah. We're gonna come all the way down this time. Lower your hips down into a seated position. Nice, and roll onto your back. All right, let's go. Let's kick it. Do it now, do it good. I miss teaching in real life classes. When I used to teach real life classes in London, I used to blast the music. Literally, it was a party, like as you can imagine. I was just like, come on guys, let's go, let's go. I miss that energy. All right, I'm gonna calm down. Coming to a tabletop and let's get started with the core of our workout, which is a core workout. Okay, everybody, we're coming into tabletop. So Alison right now is a little bit tense. I'm gonna push her shoulders down away from the ears, chin pointing towards the chest, back of the neck lengthened. We're gonna stay here a few seconds and we're gonna get in the zone. You can close your eyes, whatever you want. Push your lower back into the mat and just inhaling and exhaling here. We're just activating that core. Um, really push that lower back into the mat into an imprint, but it's a very gentle imprint. Nice. A light inhale in through your nose. Exhale out through your lips. Inhale in through your nose. Nice. Couple more. Inhaling. Exhale. Last inhale. And exhale. So from here, we're going to start toe tapping one leg at a time. Nice and slow. Boom. Nice. Keep going. So let's alternate, so you do right and then left and then right, nice. So when you're doing toe taps, everybody, right, at home, when you're doing toe taps, you go as far down as you can keep your lower back on the mat. If your lower back is coming off the mat, then you're not ready to go that low, then you will stop, right? So if her lower back was coming off the mat, she will stop here and then she'll go back. Another thing, if you're a beginner, and you're thinking, God, this is tough. You bring your knees closer to you, right? To elevate that pain, so your lower back is not coming off the mat. Boom. But she's uh, not a beginner. <laughs> so she will demonstrate <laughs> properly as an advanced. But you adapt always to your level. So let's keep inhaling and exhaling. Nice. Slow it down a little bit. Let's take our time here. Really like, really emphasize on that movement. The more advanced you are, the slower you want to go. You're really going to dip your toes in the water and then pull something out of the water, right? That sensation. I dip my toes and I pull something heavy. Nice. And I dip my toes. On the exhale, I pull something heavy. Yes. Give me one more on each side. 
Nice, really nice. I'm gonna drop both feet down on the mat. And from here, very slowly, we're gonna roll the hips up one vertebra at a time. Nice, really good articulation. Take a big inhale. Exhale, roll back down. Nice, and again, inhale. Roll your hips up. You're peeling that spine off the mat one vertebra at a time. Exhale, down. And last one, inhale. Exhale. Nice, really good. From here, let's bring our arms back and fold them behind our head, uh, behind our head, under the head, sorry. We're gonna do crunches. I miss crunches. Okay, right, make sure your feet are directly under your knees. So we're bringing them back here a little bit. Her rib cage is disconnected from her core, so she's gonna bring it down. Descend ton, voila, voila, nice, really good. Bring it down, now we've got that core connection, right? Really important, we want this all the time. Bang, bang, let's go. Inhale to start curling, exhale, come up, hold. Inhale, exhale, release. So that's a full breath crunch, right? So on the inhale, her head is coming up. Exhale, she holds it here. She inhale again. Exhale, she releases. Or we can go the way where she goes, inhale up, exhale down, right? So whatever works for you, let's go. Don't rush it, take your time, hold, exhale. Nice, it. inhale, exhale, hold, and release. Nice, keep going, nice and slow. Take your time to really, really engage that core, nice. Get me those shoulder blades off the mat every time. Nice. When you come down, come down, don't disconnect. Keep the core connection. Release the head, yes, right? Nice. And release down. Catch your breath, stay there. Let's do three, uh, four more on each side with one leg up. So bring the right leg into tabletop, let's go. Inhale, hold, exhale, release. And again, para, exhale, para, exhale, para, hold it, stay here, drop the leg, the right leg, bring the left knee up, exhale, release the head, keep the left knee up here. When you're ready, let's go for five, inhale, exhale, nice, for two, para, shot, for three, para, Da -da -da. Ba -da. Last one, come up and hold. I'm gonna challenge you guys a little bit here. Bring the right knee as well up into tabletop. Pull the belly button in. If you're a little bit more of a beginner, don't worry. Just keep your head down into a normal tabletop. If you're more advanced, let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. Keep inhaling and exhaling 10 more seconds here. Maybe extend your arms, reach your knees. Yes, girl, hold it here. Inhaling and exhaling. Nice, release the head, bring your knees into your chest. Well done, boom. So hug yourself and just massage your back a little bit. Nice, really good. Feet down on the mat. And let's go into our hip rolls here, inhale. So hip rolls are great when you're working on your, on your a lot of flexing, a lot of you know flexion exercise where your knees are bent. Um, keep doing the hip rolls um, to stretch those hip flexors, right? So we're not building tension in there. Exhale down. Nice one. And again, inhale. Exhale down. And again, inhale. Hold it here, push your hips up. Give me a big exhale here. Give me a big, big, big exhale. And release, well done. All right, let's extend the arms behind us and stretch the legs down. We're gonna do a few hip rolls to come off the mat a little bit. We're gonna try and do this in a flex actually. Yes, push your heels away from you. All right, not hip rolls, full body roll up. Arms up, inhale, chin into your chest, exhale. Don't rush it, ooh. So see, she just cheated. Perfect example, she lifts her legs up. I was like, really? And roll back down one vertebra at a time. 
nice and again you want to try and keep your feet down on the mat if you get stuck don't come up it's fine exhale 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 bigger exhale nice and through the center slow 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 control yes arms back very nice give me a couple more arms up inhale don't disconnect chin to the chest good reach and down well done really good and relax good drop your arms by your side okay have a second here everybody catch your breath massage your back have a little second all right let's come into a tabletop again but we're gonna keep feet and knees together <clears throat> we're gonna do a little bit of a diamond exercise so you're gonna keep your toes together press shoulders down everybody at home as well shoulders down relax nice toes together knees together inhale we're gonna open the knees out into a diamond exhale close nice really good press your lower back down into the mat good girl nice inhale open exhale a little tip for you guys and everybody at home open your arms a little bit more yes right it gives you a little bit more power and you activate the muscles here in your back right right here in your arms so wah, get that power in bam really ground yourself let's go inhale open the knees into a diamond we're keeping the knees above the hips all the time there we go nice exhale close good keep going inhale open hold it exhale squeeze so you're really crushing bringing those knees together give me a little resistance in there inhale exhale nice let's go for three more inhale exhale and again inhale exhale last one out and hold it here all right we're gonna stay here in the diamond and we're gonna tap the toes together ba, 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 ba. Shoop, so keep the diamond shape Shoop, ba, da, ba, 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 da. And five and six and seven, eight. We hold nice. Trying to see if you can hold it here. Give me a flex, heels together and toes together, and heels together and toes together and heels together, keeping the shape of the diamond. Really keeping that rib cage down, inhaling through your nose, exhaling out through your lips. Keep going, and a toes, and a flex. Da da da, da da da, pa pa, da da da, hey, da da da. Do do do, do do, flex, hold. Nice, hold it here, keep that heels connection. We're really activating everything here. Nice, bring your knees together. And knees into your chest, hug it out, have a second, catch your breath, well done. Really good, keep inhaling and exhaling. Have a second to yourselves. Nice, and we go back into that diamond again. We're gonna repeat that. Nice. We're nice and open, straight away into the diamond. Let's tap the toes again. One, two, three, four. Down, open, two, wide. Uh, bum, da, ka, da, da, ba, ba. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hold. And flex. And point. Inhale. Exhale. Ba, da, da, mm, mm, da, da. To flex and hold. All right, let's do this. From here, you're gonna extend the legs into a diagonal. Stretch, nice, and back into the diamond. Keep the heels together. Inhale, push, you're pushing me. Yes, that's the resistance. <laughs> She's dying, She's like, I hate you right now. And back into, yes, into the diamond. And again, and push. Nice. And an in. Yes. And a push. And an in. Boom. 
last one, push, hold it. All right, sweetie, you're like an advance. Give me those legs a bit lower. <laughs> hold it here for 10 and a nine and an eight and seven. Exhale, exhale, John, hold your breath. Let's go, everybody, let's go. Go for three, two, one. Well done, knees into your chest. Woo! <laughs> You know she's gonna tell me off after the camera is off. She's gonna be like, really? <laughs> really? But we did rehearse a little bit. We did prep a bit. So she knew what to expect. So keep massaging your back, have a little second. Let's extend our arms back and legs away from us and really stretch it out here. Have a little second. Mm. Big inhale in through the nose and exhale out through the lips. Having that sensation of someone's pulling your legs away from you. I'm a nice teacher, I'm giving yeah. her like a massage. <laughs> All right, give me a few roll-ups in your own time. Arms up to the ceiling, chin into your chest, roll one vertebra at a time, exhale down. Nice, really nice articulation. And again, inhale. Stop here, so some of you might be stuck here, that's fine, you'll just roll back down again, right? So don't cheat it, don't force it, we're just gonna build that strength slowly. Keep coming, inhaling, exhaling, reach, 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 nice, and roll back down. Yeah, it's gorgeous, and again, inhale, exhale. Gorgeous. Let's stay here a little bit longer. Stay here, relax, reach down. Nice, have a little stretch here. Remembering we fold at the hips always, right? Not in the back, we wanna keep that back as straight as we can. Right, we wanna keep our backs nice and healthy. That's why we do Pilates, <laughs> not to ruin it, right? Okay, good. And now lengthen your spine, looking in front of you. Stretch your arms out. Nice, exhale, roll back down one vertebra at a time. Don't move your feet, up, up, up. Yes, good, it's hard, huh? Yeah. Roll ups and roll downs are so hard. Even if you're like super strong, you have to control everything, right? Well done, knees into your chest. Have a little moment. And we're gonna finish with a little bit of leg work and core. I hope you're enjoying the class, everybody at home. <laughs> I'm enjoying teaching someone else <laughs> and not be the one doing and talking. It's nice. Okay, let's go. Hands by your side. We're gonna take the legs straight up to the ceiling, actually. And we're gonna do a turnout. So opening at the hips, you're gonna bring your heels together. Nice. Now, you might be homey, you might be, you know, like you might be thinking, you might be home, you are definitely home. You might be thinking, okay, I'm too tight in the hamstrings, my knees are slightly bent. Bend your knees a little bit to demonstrate, yeah. That's fine, no problem at all. You can still do it this way. Just keep your knees above your hips all the time. Really important for your back. We don't wanna be here, we're here. But if you can keep them stretched and extended, nice turn out. We're gonna start crossing here. Pop, pop, da -da -da, da -da. Shoot, shoot, don't go too wide. Teeny tiny, nice. For five, for four, for three, for two, one, and hold. Nice, hold it here. Inhaling and exhaling. I can see a little bit of a leg shake happening here. <laughs> it's normal, it happens. And bring your knees down into your chest. Good, really good. We'll repeat that a couple more times. Nice, and let's go again. And go. Make sure you're breathing. You relax the neck, you relax the shoulders away from the ears. Your tension is only in the core, only in the abs. We hold. Let's bring the arms up to the ceiling while we're holding here for 10. Hold it. And down. Nice. Okay, we're gonna do it one more time. We're almost there. We're almost there. We're working that core. I hope you're feeling nice and lengthened, everybody. All right, last one. Let's go. Legs up. 
Two, one, hold, arms up again. I'm gonna challenge you if you're a little bit advanced, let's bring those legs down into a high diagonal, just if you're advanced. If you're a beginner, keep your legs where they are. Well done, give me five, give me four, and a three, and a two, yes. Well done, really, really good. Have a second here, massage your back, rock side to side. And we're gonna close this class, dropping the feet down on the mat, extending the arms back behind you with the palms facing the ceiling we peel our spine off inhale exhale hold push push up feel the stretch in those hip flexors nice yes really good really really good here and roll the hips back down keep your arms there yes and again and we roll up feeling the stretch the knees pulling away from us exhale we down Inhale, we up. Exhale. Last one, inhale, we up. Hold it here on the exhale, push your hips up. Come on your toes here if you can. Yes, you really get that stretch, right? You really feel those hip flexors kind of opening and getting some air in them. So breathe into those hips because we really worked a lot on flexion, the whole class really. So really give, show them some love. And then on the exhale, come on back down. Nice, from here, you're gonna bring your knees into your chest, hug yourself, rock side to side, massaging that lower back a little bit. Nice, and then when you're ready, we're gonna flip it up into a downward dog, whichever way you wanna flip it up. So come into a four point kneeling and then go on your downward dog. Nice. Nice, last little stretch here. Good. Push your belly back towards your thighs a little bit more. Nice, inhaling and exhaling. Bending one knee at a time. Good. And from here you're gonna drop the heels down, hold the downward dog and walk your hands back to your feet. The other way, but it doesn't matter, it's fine. Don't worry, it's okay. <laughs> Either way, bend your knees and roll up yeah. one vertebra at a time, very slowly, take your time. When you come up, start opening your shoulders, take them up, push them back. Give me a big exhale. Oh, and roll back down. Nice. Bend the knees, and again, last one. Exhale, roll back down. Last one. Yes. And that's it, well done! Bye, my chérie! Yay, well I hope you enjoy the class. We're gonna film more, maybe one more, and I'll see, cause she's staying till tomorrow, I'll see if I can like <laughs> beg her to do two more for you guys. <laughs> but thank you so much, I hope you enjoy the class. Don't forget to subscribe, to like. I'm also putting some links here. Um, in the bio for some courses I have at the moment. Please do check them out and I'll see you in the next class. Bisous! <laughs>